All right, I dropped my mic feeding the alligators. I had to go figure that out. Are you guys ready to go beyond today? Because today we have the HP Envy and it is from Best Buy. It has the Ryzen 7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD. Let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. Now we're right in front of the HP Envy and also in front of the iMac that we did purchase from a thrift store. You can go ahead and check out that video later. But right now I've got this backwards actually because it does open up from this side. But if we go around the side here, we can look at the model number and it is a HP Envy X360 2-in-1 laptop. This thing does have the Ryzen 7 processor on it and it does have a terabyte SSD in it and 16 gigs of RAM. Now one of the things we're gonna be doing today is actually we're going to edit this entire episode on this laptop. This is not an editing machine by any means. It doesn't have a super fast video card. This is a super fast processor, but not a fast video card. But we're gonna set this up for Rich and Trish live. While we do that, we're gonna be recording that. And then we're also going to get this thing going for them as far as we're going to take all the bloatware off and install all the necessary antivirus and other software that they need to work every day. Now this thing did come from Best Buy and I believe it was $749, so not a bad deal. And looking at the back of the box, it doesn't really have much on it. Just a little barcode and some battery information. Everything important is on the side. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description to this guy for later. Back in front of the HP Envy and ready to unbox it. And it does open up backwards, which is better for you guys because you are backwards, but the camera would hit it. So let's roll this thing around and see what's inside. And here we have a nice HP Envy logo on the back of the box, which you guys can't see. And then the Envy is inside of this black felt right here. And right underneath that, inside the Envy, we have a package here, which I'm assuming has some software related items in it. It has some setup instructions here. And then underneath that we have a power adapter and it is a USB type C power. Let's see if I have enough cable to actually plug this in from where it has to reach. All right, of note, the very first thing that we can say about the HP is that it does have a decent amount of cable from the power adapter. I would say at least around 10 feet. So here is the HP Envy and this is what it looks like on the top and flipping it over not much to see apparently if you want to get this thing opened up and do, do some ram upgrades or something like that it's going to be a little bit more difficult they don't have an actual place to open it up and i don't know if the battery is even replaceable we would have to read our manual for that but there is no battery place for you to actually just eject a battery on the back of this as you can see now let's get this thing opened up and check out the and now let's take a look at the ports on the hp so on the side here you can see it does have one usb type a it has an hdmi and it has two usb type c's and on this side another type a usb port and a headphone jack now they have done away with the card readers on these now there is no card reader inside of the hp and we do have the laptop open now and you can see it has radeon graphics it has a nice sticker here to show you that it has a ryzen and radeon graphics it is called the poly studio this is a touchscreen laptop, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the laptop and power it on now. Right, and on the side of the laptop, we do have a white power indicator indicating that this is charging. And next, we'll go ahead and power this laptop on. And to make our life easier, we are gonna go ahead and plug in a USB type A mouse to the side. It'll be much easier for us to do our setup on the laptop if we do have a regular mouse rather than the touchpad mouse. So let's go ahead and power this guy on. First, we have to find the power button. It is right here. It did light up here, indicating that we do have power to the laptop. We finally have an HP that took about 25 to 30 seconds to actually power on, which is interesting. Now you can see Windows booting up here. Now this laptop does come with Windows 11, supposedly. We're gonna take a look at that as well and see what updates it needs for Windows 11, if any. I'm sure there's going to be a round or two of updates. 
And here we are at the initial Windows 11 setup screen, asking us what country we're in. We are in and we are in the United States. We'll hit next there. We are in Windows. No, we want to skip a secondary keyboard layout. We're going to go ahead and connect to my network, but we are going to stop you guys down while we do that. Here we are connected to my Wi-Fi now, the Starbase. It's looking for updates now. So they did find some updates. It is going to go ahead and install those. We won't bore you guys with that. We'll stop down while it does the initial update procedure. We're back and we have our EULA in front of us we're just gonna accept. And it just did rename the computer and so now it is proceeding to restart. Okay, we can go ahead and do location-based services, find my device, and give advertising data and all that. We're gonna turn off advertising data. And I did skip a couple of the things, but uh, we don't want, we don't wanna do any of this stuff. Okay, so it is updating the software now. We'll get back to you guys when it is done. Okay, we did just put the pin in to sign in, not the actual password. So computer is now in the setup mode here again. It says it might take a few minutes, so we're gonna leave it right there while we check on dinner. All right, we are all signed into the desktop of the uh, machine now, and we are going to, first things first, remove a lot of the bloatware, including the dumb McAfee that comes with this because it is worthless. We got dinner. Prime rib from Cody's Roadhouse. So the first thing we're going to get rid of is this ridiculous McAfee. We're going to put AVG on there because McAfee is terrible. And we have to restart and it wants to do more updates. Let us get AVG now and Chrome. and AVG is installing. While that goes, we can go ahead and get Google Chrome. Microsoft will try to convince you not to get Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and set up Google Chrome. And AVG is done setting up. And it's gonna run a smart scan. I'm impressed with this laptop so far. I just made Chrome the default browser. Now we're gonna download, yeah, WinRare. And this prime rib is absolutely fire we don't want to launch it at this point now let's go back into add remove programs and see if there's anything else we can clean up just anything i see that she will not use i can disable the clamp video editor uninstall dropbox promotion uninstall donate it uninstall onedrive uninstall teams personal whiteboard uninstall movies and tv uninstall office omen gaming hub uninstall outlook uninstall people uninstall power automate uninstall solitaire i'll leave in there for her voice recorder i'll leave in weather i'll leave in xbox xbox live uninstall and there my friends is how you clean this up immediately okay we did install driver booster pro and now we are going to go ahead and scan the pc for driver updates while Microsoft Office is installing in the background. So we have 28 outdated device driver. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just install all those. I'm not going to use the official drivers. It is downloading the drivers now. 
and this thing is installing us drivers right now while this happens we are going to take a little break and throw away a bunch of food that we need to throw away all right i dropped my mic feeding the alligators i had to go figure that out but we are now copying everything that was on the last memory card to the laptop now we got to get the free beta installed for davinci resolve okay now we're installing all of the latest updates from windows update davinci resolve free it is completely legal this is still copying from the usb3 what's a ryzen 7 8840 hs with built-in radeon graphics it is eight cores and we have 16 gigs of memory and a one terabyte ssd and it is rocking right now as you can see everybody all this will be davinci resolve 19 it's loading and we still haven't touched the cpu yet which is impressive now we are on plug not battery using eight gigabytes of 16 and this thing is busy in the background and davinci resolve is loaded without any issues PNV. And here comes DaVinci Resolve with its familiar screen, which I'm happy about. Let's close it. Okay, we got our NAS open right now. That's where we're gonna be dragging our editing stuff from or our, it's gonna be difficult with one monitor, but I'm down to try. Drag the second clip down. So far, no slowdowns, let's see. Are you guys ready to go beyond today? This is actually not a bad editing experience at all. Cause today we have the HP Envy. Welcome back guys. Today we have something really special. We have the HP Envy X360 laptop. It is a two in one laptop and I'm going to show you exactly what that means here in a moment. Now this is my neighbor Trisha's laptop. She lives across the street and I told her that I would install the software on it for her, take all the bloatware off and also put on anything else she needed for work. So we did just that you saw in the video and we also edited about 95% of this video on this HP Envy X360 laptop. Now I do have the X360 right here in front of me and it is quite a beautiful laptop. You can see right here and right now and look what it does when you want to use it as a tablet. You flip it over like that and it sits on the ground in a V-shape so you can use it upright or you could lay it flat completely like this if you really wanted to. But yeah, so this is how you use it in tablet mode. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up right now and get it booted up. It will be on batteries. Let's see what happens here. Now I did fire up the HP Envy laptop and I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the performance and you can see it just did get logged on just then. All right, we have the Envy laptop right here in front of us in tablet mode and you can see right here, you turn it like this into a V-shape, you can very easily use it in tablet mode. So for example, I can double click Chrome and Chrome opens right up right there. This is how you use it in tablet mode. It's pretty cool and I think you could actually lay it flat as well. All right, so I just did test the laptop. Now when you have the lid open like this and on reverse like this, it disables the keyboard that allows you to lay it down flat. You could lay it down on a soft surface or a hard surface, it shouldn't matter, but I would probably put it on something very soft. Now the performance of this laptop is awesome. I had no problems whatsoever editing this video on the laptop from my NAS too. So it was actually using Wi-Fi over NAS to edit this video. I am gonna leave an Amazon link in the description for this laptop. It is the Ryzen powered laptop with 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. You see it on the screen here, it is 858 and they even do have payment plans if you want to go that route. Guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time on Supercar Street Racing. I got to deliver this laptop over to Trish. Let's get out of here.